Hello everybody, this is Margaret with Alabama Prepper. I do hope everybody's doing okay today. I am sitting out in the car video in this. I'm waiting on my sister. Uh, we've got some business that's got to be took care of pertaining to my brother. So uh, I got here a little bit early, so I'm just waiting on her to get here. Thank you for all my subscribers, for all my messages. I have still have not got to all my messages, but I just want to thank everybody for everything that you have to say. Uh, we had to take my brother to the emergency room the other night. He, with this dementia problem, uh, you you know, he forgets to drink. He forgets to drink water. We've got water. We've got Caterade. We've got um, Coke. We've got everything in the world for him. But in his mind, he thinks he drinks, but I don't think he really does. And I'm sorry for the sun that's bearing down on my face. But anyhow, we had to take him to the emergency room the other night because he... Uh, he did, got dehydrated again. He chews tobacco, and he is chewing so much tobacco and spitting till I think that's one thing that's causing him to be so dehydrated. But anyhow, we had to take him to the hospital. We tell the doctors he's dehydrated, but it's protocol for them to do all these tests, and they do. They do all the tests, and then they come back and say, well, you're right. You know, he is dehydrated. But uh, when he gets dehydrated, he starts talking out of his head more. He's uh, living in the past, and, and he just, you know, uh, this past week has really been bad. But anyhow... Um, we took him back to the hospital, but the hospitals are low on IV fluid. Where he normally, they normally give him two to three uh, tubes or liters, I guess you call it, liters of, of fluid. They The doctors would only give him one. They say that the, that fluid is low right now because of the, because of the hurricanes that they had in North Carolina and the hurricanes that they've had in Florida. They say that uh, they've used enough all their fluids. Well, you know, I thought, well, my goodness, you know, what they're going to do is somebody really, you know, gets in trouble. Well, I have a friend that lives up in Michigan that's battling cancer, breast cancer, and uh, that she had went through her chemo and all, but she was to have um, breast reduction. They were going, she was a big breasted woman, and they were going to go in, and uh, you know, all the tests showed that her cancer, they caught it, you know, in a, caught it early, and they had given her 16 chemo treatments, and um. Uh, when they got through with that, then they were going to go on in and do uh, like a breast reduction on her. And, uh, you know, they thought they could, you know, take care of it then instead of, instead of doing a complete mastectomy. Uh, anyhow, but they told her that they were not going to be able to give her any fluids that, uh, I hate that that, shining in my face, y'all. They told her that they were not going to be able to give her any fluid. There was a shortage on fluids. So while she was in the hospital, this was, this was something. It wasn't going to take, you know, but it, uh, they do things so quick. She wasn't going to be in the hospital very long. But, you know, they told her they were not going to be able to give her fluids, that there was a shortage on fluids. So, this is really a bad thing. Uh, you know, what if there was, you know, people have operations every day. Uh, people have to go to the hospital and, you know, just a little, little old thing, they hang a bag of, bag of fluid on you. What is people going to do that seriously need this fluid? 
there's a shortage of it. You know, it looks like to me, I don't know what their fluid is made of, or I don't, I don't think it comes from a donor or anything. But, uh, you know, what would happen if you went to the hospital and you was really, really sick and you needed fluids? What would they tell you? My husband, I am so sorry. My brother probably does need a bag of fluid right now because he is dehydrated. We know all, you know, we, we know all everything. We know everything in what he's doing that he is dehydrated. I don't think he is severely dehydrated, but he is dehydrated because he talks out of his head so much. But anyhow, this is a scary thing for us. I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know this, you know, so if you go to the hospital, it won't be no surprise to you that uh, they may not give you any fluids if you need them. So anyhow, just wanted to give you this little video. I hope to have more on before long. Thank you all for watching my videos. I'm sorry that I've got a sun shade or whatever you want to call it right in the middle of my face. But uh, I wanted to give this today while I was here. I cannot, no matter what I do, it's not going to go, it's not going to go out of there. But anyhow, thank you all for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you and see you next time.